We're going to use bubble sort to sort this list of numbers into ascending order. I'm just going to rewrite the list in the middle of the page just to give myself a bit more room. Now, what you do in bubble sort is compare adjacent terms. Now, in this list, we're going to sort it into ascending order. Now, sometimes you might be asked to sort them into descending order, so just really pay attention to what the question is asking you to do. Now, the first adjacent pair of numbers we're going to compare is the 2 and the 7. Now, 7 is larger than the 2, so we're going to swap these over. We now move on to the next set of numbers, the next pair of numbers. Now we've just swapped the 2 and the 7 over. So the next pair of, that we're going to compare is the 7 and the 4 because they are now sitting adjacent to each other. And 7 is larger than 4, so the 4 and the 7 will swap over. The next pair we look at is now the 7 and 9 because of where we've moved the 7 to. Now, 7 and 9 are not going to uh, swap, because 9 is already greater than 7, so we leave those alone. The next pair we look at is the 9 and the 3. Now, the 9 is larger, so we're going to swap those over. And the final pair we're going to look at in this first pass is the 9 and the 5, which are also going to swap over. So what we have done now is we've gone through what we call our first pass, and we have our numbers in a new order. So after our first pass, the order of our numbers is 2, 4, 7, 3, 5, and 9. And as you can see in our first pass, the 9, the biggest number in our list, has, we could say, bubbled its way to the top. It's found its way into its correct position. This is how our list looks then after our first pass. The 9 managed to find its correct position as the largest number in the list. So we're now going to run through our second pass, and we start back at the beginning, comparing adjacent terms. So the first two numbers we compare are the 2 and 4. They do not need to swap over. The next two terms we compare are the 4 and the 7. Again, they do not need to swap over. The next pair we get to are the 7 and 3. So we need to swap those over because 7 is greater than the 3. On to the next pair, and we can see that we have 7 and 5, so the 5 and the 7 need to swap over. And then we get to our final pair, the 7 and 9, but we know that our 9 is already in the correct position, and uh, 7 and 9 will not swap over. So we can see that after our second pass, our list has now once again changed and is 2, 4, 3, 5, 7, 9. We're now on to our third pass. And generally speaking, the more passes we do, probably the less swaps there will be. As we can see in this list, uh, the 2 and the 4 are not going to swap. The 3 and the 4 will swap over. The 4 and the 5 will not swap. The 5 and the 7, and also the 7 and the 9, those terms are not going to swap over. So, at the end of our third pass... Our numbers are now in the order 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 9. So, after three passes, our numbers have ended up in ascending 
order.